Nobody likes the wind chimes. I actually love... We had... Okay, so it's so funny, because... I like, out of the other drummers, I was definitely the worst drummer because I was kind of, I originally joined band just to get out of another class that I didn't want to do. So I didn't really even care. I was just in there for like not giving a shit basically. And uh, yeah, the other, oh, you died. What happened? You were in and now you're out. Yeah. Yeah. It booted you. The force did not approve. Um. But yeah, anyway, so like I said, I uh, kind of did it as a joke. So we had these other really good drummers, and then I'm like, well, just put me on whatever's the least responsibility thing, because that sounds easy. So they put me on, like, yeah, alternate percussion, which was like, yeah, wind chimes and rain sticks and the maracas and stuff like that. And anyway, so we did, like, this huge um, band trip where we did, went to the, do this, like, national, international performance or whatever the hell. And it was so funny, because, like, I was like, yeah, I'm the wind chime guy. I don't give a shit, right? I'm just here for the party. And uh, we went to this giant uh, place in Edmonton. I think it was called the Windspear Theater or something. It was like this big amphitheater, crazy, acoustically built. You know, it's got every bell and whistle you could have in a musician theater. Um, they had, like, the most intense wind chimes I've ever seen. It was like this triple rack, double row, gold, perfectly chrome, chromed out, golden freaking... Uh, wind chime set and it was the most musically beautiful thing I'd ever heard in my life just hitting those wind chimes just <laughs> I was just like holy shit these are good I'm like I'm not a wind chime connoisseur or anything but those gotta be the top tier wind chimes I've ever heard in my life that was pretty funny is it letting you back in? yeah uh, it's doing the 0% thing but I don't know if it's uh oh Hopefully it didn't do the let you in, boot you out thing. If not, we'll restart all of this. Yet again. I always wondered if it's like save games. You know what else I noticed is uh, like that processor head, the uh, the Waratah one got reset for whatever reason since playing yesterday to today. Like That, yeah, I noticed that happened. I, that happened when but, you but the south, the, uh, But the South Star didn't. Just the yeah, Warta. Yeah, released the 1.4 update and started doing that. It didn't do that before, but after the 1.4 update, it does that. You sell it, buy a new one, it doesn't do it. Why, though? Oh, I wonder if it's because of the save game. Because we used the save game on a different version. I bet you if we used the save game from, like, a new... Like you said, it's a new a new one. So I bet you it's the save game is trying to old or load the old processor head. And when it can't detect it, it just resets whatever is attached to the machine. So when you buy a new one... It has the new, uh, the new string. It's got like a string of code attached to it that the save game memorizes. I bet you there's just a glitch there. That's all right. I will. So stars only. War talk and suck it. Maybe I'll get the axis. Is it zeroing you still? I uh, restart my game to see if I'll do it. Bastard, huh? That bastard. That's all right. Did it to us yesterday. Why wouldn't it do it to us today, right? <laughs> yeah, I. It makes no sense. Just annoying. Yeah, but in beginner van, I started off on the uh, the Glockenspiel. Oh, the Glockenspiel! I remember the Glockenspiel. Yeah, yeah, that's what we. I uh, hate that fucking thing. <laughs> What'd you hate about it? It's the name. Too much. It's yeah. Too I actually like the name. <laughs> it's just too much. Like, I sucked at it. Like, all of those, the marimba, the, all that crap. I suck at it, man. And yeah. We finally got out of that. And my, my poor freaking... Uh, we had uh, three different band teachers. We had a high school band teacher. Then we had a junior high band teacher. And then we had a, uh, like a percussionist band teacher. So oh, okay. And the percussionist guy, his name was Randolph. We used to call him Randolph, so I'm just going to call him Randolph. Sure. Anyway, he, uh, I could just tell every time I came into class, he's just like, oh, fuck, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you just had that, you just had that vibe. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You are bringing finally, down the band. Yeah. <laughs> we finally moved on and he put me on snare. And I bet that man, the amount of relief he had 
I bet. He's like, oh my god, you actually you don't suck ass. Yeah, you gotta find you gotta find something that you're like utilized well at. Well, that's when I course, got into the guitar, man. Same thing, yeah. Once I left <laughs> that, that's what the thing was. I was good at bass, good at guitar. I rocked that shit, but drums, no, not my thing. I mean, I hated it so much. I didn't even come home and practice. I played, I played my set over here. I didn't play that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who the hell comes home and practices on a glockenspiel? Nobody does that. Maybe the creator of the glockenspiel. That's about it. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Sock him in the nose. Yeah, that's right. Frick, that's funny. Yeah, all all good times to be had. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, definitely some interesting memories. Met some really interesting people in band. That was for sure. Either had complete band nerds, or you had just lazy people that didn't want to be there. They were just there, so they had to get out of something. I got, I yeah, I like I said, we used to play that, and then I got really into like heavy metal, new metal kind of stuff, and I that's where they lost me. The band kind of wasn't up to par anymore, so we went and did uh, did all kinds of stuff, and then I went and I actually made a whole bunch of solo albums and played and did my thing and then I went to audio school and I was my whole plan was to do music for a career but man it was just bad timing on that one because it didn't end up working out the way I thought it was going to as with all great artists you know plans just never quite work out the way we want them to actually you know I can break this here. are you still zeroing percenting yeah all right we can reset it here hold on it's a race to the finish line how are you going faster than me no I'm not let this happen <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes! No! Yeah, eat shit and die. I fucking landed on my wheels and you're on your ass. Yeah, I got the roadblock, then, bitch. Oh! <laughs> it's like battle. It's like battle royale. See, now I wish oh. I could see that on my drone camera. The battle. No, you don't. We need a chase cam, is what we need. What I needed to do is have OBS up right now. So yeah, there you go. Then you get a back view. That's alright. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. That's right. It lives. Just, it lives on in your memories. I, I just straight up Dom Toretto'd his ass. <laughs> that was nothing like Dom Toretto. What the hell? Dom Toretto. Nah. Well, it's better than Glockenspieling him, right? Do that to family. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Well, Flirty, you got stuck on the processor yesterday, so I can take over that if you want. You can be a loaderman or something. Yeah, I can load. Or bunch or whatever. Whatever you guys feel like. You just do what feels right, you know? Once I finish the infinite pile, I punch them. Yeah, right. There's still more up. Uh, yeah, the, the, the processing's done, but yeah, I think it's got to get loaded still up there. One more load. Oh, I thought you guys cleared it. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think uh, Chris was... He, he filled up my truck one time, and then I think he was still working on one load back there. I don't know if it's a full trailer or not. I didn't look. Yeah, I can grab that. I'm just cleaning up Texas. Beautiful bunches here. Those are my bunches. Oh, these are yours? <gasps> I gave credit where credit wasn't due. I bunched that, that good. Ow, I hooked the fucking stake. <laughs> well, Flirty, these oh, are beautiful shit. bunches, I must say. These are God's Damn. gift to bunches. <laughs> Damn it. You guys, who won? Who won getting in? I did. Both. <laughs> yeah, but well, we, I, I, we sandwiched both trucks in the cell point. <laughs> I guess there's a tie. I kind of built my deck backwards here, but oh well. That's how she go. I make that turn. Whoa. Oh, I'm pinned on the buncher. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Just give that a little shuffle. You bitch! <laughs> I should have fucking done that. Did you get Sorry, overtaken? Uh, I cut through the woods and cut off the hairpin. <laughs> so Here, I'm just gonna run this over. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Oh, I God. I know what you Well, I thought it was cleared a little bit more towards this side. I was wrong. Yeah, and then all the trees rendered. 
<laughs> you're like, surprise. Uh, those are called the load-in trees. You, you're not going to like those. Nobody likes sorry. those. I'm going to clip that. That's kind of funny. The way my truck went flying off the mountain, which is the ragdoll. Trucks have good ragdoll physics, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. Got to go flying. Otherwise, you're not having a good time. You're not flying. You're not having a good time. Oh, yeah, Flirty, I got to turn your ass up on my other computer here. I forgot. Because you were quiet when I was listening to that recording last night. That's the problem is I can't monitor your guys' vocals on the other PC. Oh, yeah. Tex, you're always at max, so that's easy. <laughs> there you go. That's one of these days I'm going to get a different mic and it's just going to ear rape all of you. Yeah, that's <laughs> actually what I'm expecting is going to happen too. Just one day be like, hey, boys. Hello. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello. Is this mic, the party to okay? which I'm speaking? Per my last email. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, went down the wrong spot there. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> Jeez, about time you showed up. I had time to tab out, get OBS set up, start recording, hop back in, and start loading. Those Secret of out. Yeah, we're Damn doing it. sevens now. Brought the wrong trailer. Oh, that's okay. You can just leave them out. Teleport them if we need more. When we're doing shorts, we can only run one anyway because it gets violent. Oh, wait. What? The truck's already down here. Never mind. I'm just I throwing can, my uh, tops on top of the tops. I uh, decked my pile like an idiot here, so. I'm going to be running uh, half a load of longs up anyway so I can grab a short trailer. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, We've still got that one load. Yeah, oh, we got a yeah. short trailer down here already. Yeah. Oh, just one. But we do need that. Definitely one more load for the longs. I think it's one load. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm loading it up right now. Okay. Sweaty, today. sweaty hands, McGee here. Yeah, I threw another stick on accident. <laughs> Got chalk up, bro. Chalk up. Yeah, here, I'll let you actually clear this pile because I got to walk up to that end because I am just doing a terrible thing the way I'm doing this right now. So hold on, let me finish this one and I'll I'll let you load this up. And then basically where you're sitting is where I'm going to start my next pile because I, like I said, idiotically put it all in the wrong place. So I'll just take a break. Have a Kit Kat or whatnot. Actually, here, I'll be your truck driver until that's cleared. I don't know if it's a full load or not. Oh, actually, 7's fit perfect on there with the double bunk. I like that. Looks good. I was playing with the dangle heads last night. I'm like, God, I need to put some more weight in these. I haven't used those in a while. And I was like, I tested them. They work, but they're they're way too freaking light. Way too light. Put this up a little here. There we go. I can see I'm it all. I like using the, uh, the buckets. Uh, head, I guess, uh, to what, which one? The, uh, not the pulp wood grab, but the other one. Yeah, the, the little dangle head one. Yeah, it's good. It just needs more weight because I was trying to load sevens uh, from like a pile like this last night and you can barely get your tongs in there because it's so hard to grip. But they just need a little more mass. Just a teeny bit of mass. Oh, I like being the truck driver. It's so easy. Just chill. Here, actually, while you're doing that, I'm just going to bunch out this corner here real quick. Here, let's put a tow line on our buncher. You saw nothing. Nothing is happening. This is all normal. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, I was coming back to knock that corner out when we stopped. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like you had a plan, and then we stopped, so that's how that go. Dominate the dominatrix. I'm just gonna get rid of this little bit. So then you got some swing room to play around. Row by row. Kick car. Hey. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how I find my wife in the store. I yell yeah. cacao really loud like that, and she always like, oh, there she is. People look at me absolutely bizarre, but I'm like, I don't know you. <laughs> That's why I love when we go to the city, like places like bigger, like Vancouver, you go there, it's like, I'll never see the same person twice in a row when I visit there, right. so I can I can just act however I want. Be an absolute caveman. Don't care. That reminds me of that family guy skip Peter's uh, in the mall looking for Lewis. Yeah. And he's like, Lewis, Lewis. And then some <laughs> random guy up top screaming, Lewis. And, and Peter's like, uh, do you know where my wife is? And he goes, uh, no, but I figured if she was banging a guy like you, I might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. There we go. Little little opening area. Beautiful. Snatch and grab. Would you? Oh, missed. And my depth perception. Oh, well, it helps if I actually turn my screen so it's facing the right way. I was like looking 45 out my left window and I'm like, what's going on here? Alright, now I can start decking proper here. Because I did a bad thing. Very bad. Okay. I'm not gonna really size sort these two hard corks, I just don't really care. I'll try to put small to the back and larger to the front, but there's no promises of it lining up properly. I don't really care if they're all in the same pile. I'm gonna grab them all anyway. Just take the whole lot. Wink. I didn't hear anybody else sound off, so it might be just us three here for a bit. Yeah, I was gonna try, but I think it's kind of late for them, so. Who's that? Ape? Yeah. Yeah. It should be around uh, like 8 p.m. So. Yeah. Burning that midnight candle or midnight oils. That's all right. I've only got time for a couple anyway, and then I gotta go run up town, do some grocery shopping, or grocery armed robbery. Just I'm not the robber they are. How's your guys' grocery prices? Are they asinine or are they pretty good where you are? Yeah. I was watching that. It was like a. A, uh, interview with the Australian CEO of some grocery affiliate there and he was mocking some guy who was like the I guess you I don't know I didn't get the name it was like the commodity analytics guy or something that basically called them out saying that they were just a bunch of crooks and the guy's like oh that guy doesn't know what he's talking about and he's like oh really he's like because the guy's been doing that his whole life and that's basically his whole career is to like do statistics and analytics on inflation on grocery prices and you're calling him a fraud even though he his entire life career <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like oh actually I didn't mean to say that can we delete that and he's like no you're on the record and then he walked out of the interview <laughs> I was like that's awesome <laughs> good for you good for you geniuses right I like. I still like those Galen Weston bags that say "Starve" with his face on it, like shopping bags. Those are amazing. It's the Sobeys guy. Are you guys Sobeys in the states, or is that just Canada? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Safeway. Do you guys have Safeway down there? Uh, we do. Just not right now. Oh, okay. What's your guys's like main grocery chain down there? Stop and shop. <clears throat> Dollar General. Dollar, Gen Dollar, Dollar General. General. Dollar General. <laughs> They're everywhere. Hell yeah. They sell food at Dollar General? I have three in my town. That's crazy. I didn't even know they sold, that's, sold food there. That's 
that's actually how you know how white trash your town is. is yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is that like if your you rating? Have more than three, yeah. Pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. That's that's your rating, hey. Well, we don't have a Walmart in our town yet, so we're still doing good. Dude, I swear, you know, you always see those TikToks of these people. They're like, oh yeah, they'll put a Dollar General any dollar store anywhere, and then they just they pop. They literally up. will put a Dollar General fucking anywhere. We yeah. used to I have this driving. old little soccer stadium, like indoor soccer stadium. Yeah. Dude, I hadn't been through uh, this town in a little bit, and I go through there, and I have to look around. Like, there's a fucking dollar store there. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> it's just overnight dollar stores. It. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, dude, that's so weird. <clears throat> yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we have a one dollar store here, but it's changed names like thirty times to thirty different businesses. I swear to God. I think it is a Dollar General. Oh no, Dollarama. That's what it's called now, Dollarama. But it used to be the Dollar Store, and then it was like uh, Dollar Dollar Cents or some weird name back. Yeah, I, th I think it's four times it's changed, and now it's Dollarama. They seem to be the big. Uh, I guess it'd be like your guys' version of Dollar General there, same thing. They're yeah, the we have like Family Dollar and Dollar General. Dude, the funniest freaking thing I ever saw was up in New York. It was a, a Family Dollar that says store closing sale, blah, blah, blah. They closed it. A yeah. week later, they started construction of a Dollar General in the same, in the same spot. I was like, what the hell? Look, that's not even goes out of business yeah. and Dollar General's just like, yep, we'll take yeah, it. Yeah, get them. Get them. What, what, what were they making? Yeah, get them. We can make a dollar profit a day. We'll we'll put a store there. It's worth it. We'll make that yeah. money back. These people are dumb. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General. Oh yeah, Dollar yeah. Tree. Okay, what the hell is what the hell is Bucky's? What is Bucky's? Uh, I hear about Bucky's all the time from that's my one buddy. Thing. Only, oh, Southern. Only the biggest fucking gas station you'll ever be. Somebody said it's like a buck. You can go into a Bucky's. And it's like apparently you can get anything and everything you ever wanted in one yep. session. Bucky's is the Texas exclusive. That's so funny. Yeah, Walmart slash dollar store. The bathrooms are massive. <laughs> you can have a full on orgy in there and nobody will even know because it's so big. Good. It's like a warehouse. As I process into the side of the truck here. Oopsies. Good thing I own the truck. Okay, I'm the owner operator. You can process your logs directly into the side of the door. That's fine. Oh, hi, Flirty. Here, I'll let you. Here. Uh, I don't know what the best method is. But I was going to let you finish that up and then I was going to. Oh, oh I okay. Could, I, could I, I, can, I can whip these out. Do you want me to get rid of them or? Yeah, well. You, you got it. You're here. You're here. It, yeah. You're here. Go on we'll through, sir. It. Here, have some trees. No, Thank no, you, don't sir. get out. Damn. <laughs> he, he jumped ship. No yeah. parachute. <laughs> Taxi, just like a slow... There's a slow motion, like, action running version of you right at the tip of the pile here. He's just, like, doing the... He's doing the, uh, die hard run here. He's like... <laughs> doo, doo, no. Doo. You need that song. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. right. That'd be perfect. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, Dollar General, hey? You know what? Is there anything even in a dollar store that's worth a dollar anymore? Like, anything at all? I don't think, like, candy bars are worth dollars. No. They're, like, three, four bucks sometimes. And then Maybe you're like, oh, this a is a king dollar. size, so it's worth $11. And you're like, excuse me? Yeah, I don't know. Unless you're buying, like, dust or something. I'll take a bag of dust. That's three ninety nine. God damn it! <laughs> I'm sure there's a store somewhere that sells that to me. So. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Or my dad. My dad, he's the same way. He's just like, yeah, you can go to a goddamn dollar store and there's nothing even there that's worth... A dollar anymore. Dude, I could spend a hundred dollars at the dollar store and not even buy five things. Yeah, I know. That's how I feel when I'm grocery shop. Oh, that's how I'm going to feel this afternoon when we go grocery shopping. It's gonna be like, oh hey, we got twenty items. Cool, that's four hundred and eighty dollars. You'll be like, oh <laughs> Alright, cool. Groceries are dumb. That's basically all I buy anymore. I mean I I, I spent 
the last like five years gathering basically all the technology I needed for my own life, like for doing FDR stuff and for just our own personal entertainment, you know. And now I'm good. Like I don't have to buy anything technology wise for probably another five years, I would say. I'm probably safe. Unless I get, you know, FOMO and really need some kind of new VR headset or something. But um, now basically we're just focusing on yeah, saving money for like bigger projects, maybe a house one day, God forbid we ever get into that market. And uh, buying groceries and stuff. But groceries alone are just like crazy. It's like a twenty percent gain out of that horse crap. Yeah, pretty dumb. But whatever. You get what you get, I guess. Oh, I didn't buy a gas. Or we have a gas can. I think it's on the other side of the map. Somewhere down there. That's all good. Oh, it's all good. I was actually going to... I had a couple of companies I was going to talk to about building a, a new uh, chipper head. Like a attachable one. There's a couple of companies that I'm going to have a conversation with about that I might bring one of their heads into the game. But we'll see. I don't know. It's a very maybe situation. Depends on how they roll. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had any new companies. I haven't really been hunting or... For a while there, they were coming to me, so I was like, oh, this is great. But now people aren't doing a whole lot of marketing strategies for their companies right now it seems to be everybody saving their saving their dollars for the giant layoffs that are coming <laughs> yeah. that's what it feels like to me i could be completely out to lunch but i felt like there was a lot more marketing opportunity like probably within the last two years and now it feels like oh there's actually not a lot left now everybody's kind of pinching their pennies and nobody really wants to uh do much brand brand exposures alright well I'm out of things to process so I'm just going to back this machine I'm on the way. oh you're back welcome sir it's like just in time I noticed you were doing the last tree oh that's cool that's good it gives you a space to dump them so more space to dump the better 